So in this video, what we're going to do is explore how to actually take a Google Doc or a, another format such as uh, PowerPoint or Microsoft Word and put it into our actual uh, portfolio website. So right now I'm on the visual composition page. And if you recall in visual composition, we did a lot of different type of work such as the uh, history of animation, which is again, which uh, was either done in a PowerPoint or a Google uh, presentation. Uh, we also did a flip book and then proceeded to do uh, elements and principles of the design. Uh, and then we did a stop motion applying those elements and principles of des uh, design. And then last but not least was the topography uh, assignment. And so we're going to get that work into the visual composition page itself. Now, a couple ways of doing this, depending on how you worked in advance. So some of you cho chose to use Microsoft Word. Uh, or Microsoft PowerPoint, and some of you just chose to use Google Docs. So this video is going to explore both of those ways and incorporating our content right into this page. Before we do so, though, I just want you to pay attention to some of the smaller details in the web page. Now, you'll notice that I still have visual composition right here highlighted, even though I know I've clicked on the link, and every page should have an introductory sentence of what it is that you're uh, going to be looking at on this page, and it's very brief and concise. So, for example, I have under visual composition, it's the foundation of this course in which we explore the elements and principles of design and apply, got a bit of a formatting error here, and apply these to our visual works and animations. Same as well too, if I look at my links page, I have a short little introductory, uh, even the animation. Um, yeah, tell my audience I'm working in Adobe uh, Animate and so on and so forth. So each of these pages should have a brief introduction. So let's get started. And I'm just going to bring in, say, a PowerPoint presentation just to start with or just to begin with. Now, what I want to do is click on my plus button right over here for adding. And then I'm going to actually look at the button gallery right here. So under the button gallery, I can actually scroll up or down. And in this case, I want to scroll to the very bottom. And I'm actually looking for a icon of PowerPoint. And you can see I've got different icons. I got this one or say this one. Um, and so I will choose this PPT. And there it is. So now what it's actually asking me is what PowerPoint presentation do you want to link to this particular button? So I know that this 10 tips for creating an effective website. And I'm just using this as an example. I know it's not specific work and I'm just going to use that and drag that to the media gallery. I'll wait for the upload and you can see right over here, here's the file. Let's go add to the page. And there it is. My icon is automatically linked to that PowerPoint presentation. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm going to save this, publish it. And now I'm going to go ahead and preview this. So this is the visual composition page. And you'll notice if I do a mouse over, I go from a pointer to a little click. And I'm going to open that up. And you'll notice right here, it says tips for creating an effective website. And then it will launch uh, PowerPoint. OK, so great. That's the first part. Now, what I'd have to, of course, do is I'd have to put the purpose of the assignment, what you guys did, and then how it relates to some of your work through the descriptions. All right, I'm just going to put this on side two. Now, supposedly you do uh, or created a Google Doc, or supposedly you just did like a, um, um, a Google presentation, and we want to incorporate that into this page. Well, that's easy enough to do. So. Here's that same presentation. And what I plan to do with the same presentation is I'm going to actually embed it into my website. And there's a couple ways of doing it. So let's go ahead and double click this to open it. And again, I know this is not your work. This is just an example. OK, so here's the presentation. And where I want to look next is actually the share button. Now, you'll notice that mine is actually shared public on the Internet. So anybody in the world can find it. And you're going to have to change yours, too, because if you just grab this link and stick it into your Wix page, only you or your partner has privileges and nobody else is going to be able to see this. So we have to change this and make sure that it is actually public on the Web. And I'll show you how to do so. So let's click on the share button. OK, and then what we want to do here is we want to go ahead under the link and we want to change it now by default. Yours might be restricted, yours might be EPS, but we need to change this to public so anybody can see this on the World Wide Web. So change that. And then after you've done that, what we'd like to do is actually grab this link. So let me go copy link. 
and then we're going to click on done. So heading back into the Wix editor, I'm going to go and do the same thing where I click on the plus button here. And under that, I want to actually look for where it says embed. And now what I need to do is I actually need to embed a site. So clicking on embed a site, let's move this down here. And I'm going to make this a lot bigger so you can see it. Okay, great. It says enter website address. So let's click on that. Make sure it is, in fact, a website address. And we copy that earlier after we change it so anybody can view it. And apply. And now you can actually see how this actually comes right in here so everybody can see it. That's one way of doing it in, in any event. Um, the other way of doing it is actually just having um, the document in there without all these tools. So how do I do that? Let me just close this off first of all. Let's go to add. And next what we want to do is under the embed, insert a Google Drive or this link right over here. Okay, so let's uh, click on the plus button and then we can add it for free. Okay, so let's click. And there is the Google Doc. Maybe I just need to move this downward so everybody can see this. Okay, welcome to the Google Drive app. So it'll display all the content from your Google Drive onto your Wix site. So to start, click Settings and connect your Google Drive account. So I'm going to click on Settings here. And then I can connect the account. And then I can actually go ahead to the actual Google presentation or Google Doc. But again, super important for you to remember that you have to make sure that you choose your privileges and that's for anybody to share on the public web and then you would have to change that so it is public not eps or restricted so give that a try and finish off your visual composition page so after this video there's only one video left and that's for more kind of customizing and tailoring your website um, because i don't want everybody's portfolio to look the same. So we'll, we'll talk about that in the next video. Anyways, good luck and see you in a bit.